America is a nation of spoiled brats. And that's why God's wrath is quickly coming upon this nation. I mean, it's already here in many ways. But uh, this nation has fallen into this thing of um, not spanking children, not punishing children, not punishing evil. There's no judgment coming. We all evolved from, you know, goo. Uh, and it's created a generation of spoiled brats. Next, nay, multiple generations of spoiled brats. A nation of spoiled brats. And we all... You know, I want my, I want a car. I'm going to go get one. Do you have money? No, I'll just borrow it. I want a house. I want this. I want that. Spoiled brats. And when you can't get it, oh, this is offending me. It's, it goes against my rights. It's because of the color of my skin or my sexual orientation or something like this. Spoiled brats. And the worst part about it is Psalm 12, 8, verse 12, chapter, Psalm 12, verse 8, excuse me. It's a little cold out here. Mouth doesn't work all that great sometimes. The wicked walk on every side when, side when the vilest men are exalted. You know why there's so many wicked people? Because Hollywood, the film industry, has been propagandizing people to make them more and more evil as time goes by. To destroy the morals of this nation. You know the problem with spoiled rotten brats? They have poor morals. Hollywood has helped with that whole thing. So now we have spoiled brats that see the movie stars driving in their fancy cars and they see the movie stars living in their big fancy houses and they think, well, I should have that too. That's the problem with this nation. And that's why this nation is going to fall. Um, it's, you know, it's funny. They talk about communist China and everything else. They have the slave labor factories and they take people, political prisoners, and stick them in there and make them make things. I don't think they're ever going to try that here in America because Americans are too big of brats to get them to work on anything and whatever else. I mean, basically a year that people had off because of the pandemic, you know, yeah. And now all of a sudden people don't want to go back to work. And there are employers out there saying, please come work for us. Please, we'll give you money. We'll, you don't even have to have a college education. Please come work. And people are, no, I don't have to. I'll just you know, put my house in forbearance and, and I'll, I, I don't have to pay because it's racist to pay or something. And, and I, I should be given money for doing nothing because I'm special. <laughs> How disgusting. But that's why this country is about to be judged. America has been the greatest exporter of evil. The greatest one. Islamic countries call this uh, the great Satan. Uh, well, I'm not uh, Muslim and I don't like Islam very much, but uh, I can't disagree with them on that point. America is the great Satan. America has made a very nice home for Satan and his people. And these people just, you can't warn them. You can't preach to them. Anything else? Um, I remember years ago, I uh, actually was at a fast food restaurant back before I had enough sense to stay away from them. And there was a full grown man, had children and everything. And he was there and they, it went, I think it was 10 minutes that he was waiting for his sandwiches. And he went into a hissy fit. And he was screaming, how much longer is it going to take to get my sandwiches? This is ridiculous. And he's screaming. And even his little children, his little daughters were looking down at the floor and humiliated by their big brat dad. Well, take that times however many hundreds of millions here in America. There are very few people that have any character anymore. That's why this nation's about to fall. That's why this nation must fall. So I'm going to put some videos at the end of the of this here, some links to some videos, and um, I think you should watch them. God's blessing and judgment. Um, if you're saved, please don't ask God to bless this nation anymore. Please, let's not stop his judgment that's coming, because judgment is needed to get rid of these spoiled, rotten brats. Okay, very important study. All right, and uh, I'll pick another one too there. I'm not sure which one I'll pick yet, but uh, it's extremely important that we pray the right way. And uh, praying for a nation uh, and saying things, blasphemous statements like God bless America uh, when this country is so filled with spoiled rotten brats and we're, we're exalting the vilest people out there in society and it's causing the wicked to walk on every side. Um, don't ask God to bless that. That's blasphemy. Don't do that. Um, we need to fight against this evil. We need to fight against the sin and take a strong attitude against sin. And if you're a Christian brat, by the way, and there's plenty of those too, uh, indebted brats, uh, people that think that they're owed everything 
and uh, the Lord calls you to do a ministry and you just sit there and watch videos all the time, that's not a ministry. Um, you need to do something with your life. You need to get active. And uh, I'm not your God. I'm not your cult leader. Don't come to me and say, what, uh, what can I do? You know, tell me what to do and whatever else. Uh, get active. Do something on your own. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Check out this video here if you haven't seen it already.